Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day and today I am doing a review on the Boxum Pulse Finger Oximeter and if you are one that's active then this is a product that you are going to want to learn about and I look forward to diving in and sharing with you more about it and how it works. As you can see I am checking my pulse right now, got my pulse rate. I have a very low pulse rate. In fact, when I go to the doctor, they're like, oh my God, is there something wrong with me? But right now it's at 57, which is low. And then it's got the SP02 meter as well. We'll dive in. We'll talk more about the product. It's very interesting, uh, by the way, uh, in learning more about the product, in case you were not aware. So SP02 stands for peripheral Capillary oxygen saturation, an estimate of the amount of oxygen in the blood. More specifically, it is the percentage of oxygenated hemoglobin compared to the total amount of hemoglobin in the blood. And so it's, uh, you know, it's certainly interesting to get a, a better idea and a reading. And if you're really into this, then this is a nice small device that you can take with you. Like I went hiking today, so I could put this in my bag if you do cycling, you're at the gym, anything physical, and you just want to know how your health is. So just to give you an idea as well, a normal healthy person should be able to achieve normal blood ox oxygen saturation levels of 94 to 99% for patients with mild respiratory diseases. The SpO2 should be 90% or above, and supplementary oxygen should be used if SpO2 levels before 90% fall below 90%. So let's see what mine is. So it has a, a button and we'll talk more about what's involved in the product. There's a power button on and you just put your finger in there and it takes about 10 seconds for it to read. And my SPO2 is, let's see what it's at. So let me make sure my finger's all the way in. Yep, it's all the way in it. And it has a graph too, which is very cool. It shows you your heartbeat. And we'll dive a little closer. So 99. So there you go. And again, it says uh, the normal is 94 to 99. So I guess it varies, but right now it's at 99. Before it's at 97. So you get the very small finger device. What's nice with this one is it comes with a case. So you can take it on the go. You can keep it protected and just put it in your bag. And there you go. So very cool. Uh, also, it comes with a lanyard, so if you want to use a lanyard, wrap it around your neck, you can do that. Packaging, nice little gift box. If you know somebody who really cares about their health, then this would be a good way to go. Then you have the instruction sheet, and they got everything on just one side there. So depending upon your vision, you may need glasses. And then lastly, this works with charging by USB, so no batteries are needed and a battery it lasts about six hours of uh, charging time and then there's a port right here for charging so it's a very simple product it's a one button push you turn on and it takes about 10 seconds for it to start working and then after that it takes about eight seconds to turn off just a couple other things as well um, and then i will uh, dive in and do close-up uh, more of the product but as far as the accuracy it's a uh, give or take two percent of the stage of 80 to 99 percent plus minus the stage of 70 to 79 percent and below 70 70 percent uh, no requirement that's based upon the spo2 measurement range accuracy on the pr measurement range it's uh, 30 beats per minute to 240 beats per minute and the accuracy is uh, plus minus one beat per minute or what plus one percent so there you go more information I'll put that in the description and also by the way if you click on the link you can get more information read reviews ask questions and of course order it and I appreciate you clicking on the link to get more information and also for liking this video and subscribing to my channel so let's go ahead let's go, dive in show you a close-up of how it works and uh, it's a, a real neat product and it, these seem to be very popular 
Uh, one, because people want to know how their heart rate is, and two, their oxygen levels. For me, I never really thought about that, but uh, that is something that people do think about, and it's nice that you could take this very lightweight device. I mean, it's, it's so nice and, and lightweight, and I like the fact that it comes with a, uh, a little pouch to uh, protect it. So let's go ahead and dive in, and we'll show you how it works. When it comes to charging, when you have it plugged in and you press the button, you will say it will say on the display charging and the battery indicator will also be flashing letting you know what level it's at. And when it's fully charged, it will say 100%. Again, you press the button and there you go, it will say 100%. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, it's a very simple system. It just uses one button to turn on and also to change the settings you have a rubberized material on the inside on the bottom and also on the top here and then when you turn it on you'll see it starts flashing to get a readout of your pulse okay so now I just turned it on and as you can see it's got here it says oximeter and then you got your SpO2 and your PR beats per minute. So as soon as I put my finger in there, it takes about eight, uh, eight seconds, eight to 10 seconds, closer to 10. And you can see it's starting to read it and showing my heart beat. And now it should any second give me a readout. So there you go. So now it's at 96 as compared to 99. And my Heart rate uh, is at 54 beats per minute. So there you go. Now it's got six different options for display. If you press it down again, you could see you could go with the other finger if you wanted to. So if I wanted to put in my left finger, I can do that as well. And you could see there, give it a, again, it takes about 10 seconds for it to read. And there you go. Now it's at 96 and 51. So now you could, uh, again, this is another option. Upside down. You could go to the right. You can go to the left. And then you're back to normal. So those are the different screen options. Now, if you want to go into the menu options, you press and hold down the button and it takes you into the screen. So you have your alarm, you have beeps, you have as well the demo and restore. Now, if you put the alarm on, you can have it beep every time that your heart rate, heart rate is heard. So now I have it on, and if I go down, you can also adjust the brightness. While we're on that screen, I'll show you. Press and hold down the button, and now it's changing the brightness. Now, if I press it again, it goes to exit, hold down, and now it's out. And now we should be able to hear my heart rate beat as it makes beeping noises here. I'll show you that here in a minute. After about 10 seconds, so there you go. So there is my heart rate beats, and it beeps every time it gets a beep for the heart rate. So if you go faster, you'll start hearing the heart rate beats go faster as well. Now, if I want to turn that off again, I just go click and hold the button, go back into the menu section, go to the alarm, hold down the button, and now it turns off. Now, if I'm in this first setup section and I press and hold down, the, actually, let me go back up here. So we go off. And now we should be able to go to actually the alarm and set up on this first section up top. So you got the alarm set up and then if I actually hold it up there, then it takes you to the second section. And in there, you can change the SPO2 high and low settings to give you notification and also for the PR. So it gives you an alarm as well. So very cool there. And then if you scroll down, you could um, exit out, but I'll just show you here. So if I want to have the SPO2 alarm on high at 55, if I hold down, then I could, you could see it changes the number. So now you can adjust that there as well. And then if you exit, press and hold the button down, 
it goes back to the main screen there. So it's very simple and easy to use, a really fantastic product um, from what it looks like, uh, and you have that nice little case to take along with you. So if you have any questions, let me know. Again, be sure to click on the link in the description so you could ask your questions, read the reviews, and of course, order it. All right, everybody, have a healthy day. Thanks for watching.